Hello friends, welcome to Yantriki. In this new episode of Yantriki, I am going to take a problem on hollow shaft. The problem will belong to torsion, but the shaft this time will be a hollow shaft. As we know that hollow shaft have external as well as internal diameters, so this problem is important. Hollow shaft can be used in propellers, hollow shaft can be used in automobiles, for propeller shaft, and it can be used for marine propulsions as well. So let us check out this problem which has been a favorite by the examiners for competitive exams as well as for university exams. Let us take a look. Alright friends, to start this question, I have already prepared a list and then I would like to explain this problem by taking examples one by one. So as you can see in the problem, the, they have mentioned that the stress due to direct loading is 8 Newton <coughs> per mm square. So this is what they have mentioned in place of stress. Also the diameter ratio is given, small d is equal to 2 by 3 times of capital D. So as usual what we do we find the area of the section and for that I have written pi by 4 capital D square minus in place of small d square I put the value of um, small d that is provided in the question. When I solve it I will get the value as 5 pi upon 36 capital D square. So this is the value of area that I have got. So if I have to find stress, only two things are required. If I have to find stress, only two things are required and one is force and other is area. Area is already known to me and now I will use the above given data and the value of efficiency for finding the force that is applied on the shaft. They can say it is a propeller shaft, it's a more marine propeller shaft but remember a shaft is a shaft and it has some basic property like torsion will happen to it torsional formula will be applicable to it so do not get confused now just you have to use the value of efficiency they have given as 68 percent so you can write it as 68 by 100 that is 0.68 we know that efficiency is output upon input in case of any shaft there is certain useful work that is done so i will mention it here useful work done and divided by the energy that is given in input so now you will have to understand that energy or as I have written here energy will have unit joule and work done has unit Newton meter torsional moment bending moment any moment has also unit Newton meter and they have directly mentioned that on the expenditure of this much energy 6337.5 kilowatts so 10 raised to 3 is what I would I am going to write I will convert it into watt. So on this energy expenditure, they are getting certain amount of work done. Now coming to this useful work done per second. If you have to calculate the value of work done, you have to do this force multiplied by distance. So the distance in the question is given in per second. Distance per second is mentioned. So I have written work done and then as it is mentioned in per second, so I have used this per second. So work done is basically force into distance then work done per second will be force into distance per second. Distance per second they have mentioned in the question the value is 12 meter per second. So I can write F multiplied by 12 meter per second and this is the value of useful work done per second that I will put here 12 into F. I hope you understood this and if you look at the unit behavior this is Newton meter per second and we know that Newton meter per second is directly it can be written as watt. 
now in the second step you see here i have vat here i have vat and this is the value of efficiency 0.68 only one unknown is there the value of f can be now calculated very easily the value of f will be 359125 newton and the value of force as we have got now coming to this step we have already calculated the area in these two steps area we know we know the value of force from these two steps the value of force we have already calculated now you can have the for basic formula of stress is force upon area so i will keep these things f upon a now i'll put the values this is 359125 that is in newton divided by area and this whole value this whole value is equals to how much 8 newton per mm square if you do the simplification of this equation you will get the value of capital d 320.75 mm and as this is a hollow shaft whatever you got is the external diameter once you got the external diameter value to be 320.75 you have to put it into this equation you will get the value of small d the value of small d is 213.83 mm this is the value of small diameter so ultimately you got the value of capital d and small d that means hollow shaft internal diameter and external diameter both are revealed now if you want to find the polar moment of inertia the formula that you will use for polar moment of inertia will be pi by 32 capital d raised to 4 minus small d raised to 4 equals to the value of polar moment of inertia will be 8 double 3 8.76 into 10 raised to 5 mm raised to 4 so as you have calculated the value of polar moment of inertia now we are going to put all these values what we have got in the torsional formula so as we have calculated the value of ip i have noted it down here somewhere that is 8338.76 into 10 raised to 5 i have also taken the value of radius that is external diameter divided by 2 i have to find the value of t but why i am doing all this because i have to keep these values in the torsional formula you all remember this torsional formula t upon ip is equals to g theta upon l that is equals to fs upon r but as in this problem the angle of twist is not provided so we are not using it rather we are using the shear stress as the condition of failure for the hollow propeller shaft in order to find the value of t which is not known to us we will use this famous formula p is equals to 2 pi nt upon 60 we know the shaft power as provided in the question 6337.5 as and as it is given in kilowatt so i am multiplying it with 10 raised to 3 and then i will multiply it with 60 and divide it with 2 pi n so that i can get the value of t but then my friends i would like to tell you that the t that you will get that you are using here has si unit newton meter and the t that you are using in the torsional formula has the si unit newton into mm meanwhile the value of t that i have already calculated is double five zero one seven four newton meter now I would like to convert this Newton meter or I would like to convert this torque and put it into this formula. For this I want it to be in Newton mm. For that I will multiply it with 10 raised to 3. So it becomes 550174 into 10 raised to 3. If you look here in this formula I know the value of T, I know the value of IP and I know the value of R. So there is only one unknown left and that is FS. If you calculate, you will find the value of Fs to be 106 Newton per mm square. That is the amount of shear stress that will get produced in this propeller shaft under the conditions wherein the shaft power is 6337.5 into 10 raised to 3. Alright, I hope you enjoyed the video and understood the numerical. I will be uploading more such videos on YouTube. Subscribe my channel, like the video and share it to your friends 
so that they can also get benefit of the channel and the numerical problems that I take. Meanwhile, if you have any doubt or if you have any numericals regarding any of the topics in mechanical engineering or civil engineering, our experts will solve it and we will make a video and upload it on the YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching.